Hello, welcome to Green Lady Permaculture. My name is Sarah, and right now I'm using this little basket to catch feeder goldfish in my little pond. Um, we set up a pond out front, and it's actually like a legitimate pond. This is just a stock tank we've sort of dug into the ground here. I believe this one is 150 gallons, and we also have one in for the ducks, and that one's like 250 and we use that for the ducks they don't have that one doesn't have fish in it but this one does and they've actually been breeding in here um i don't have a filter i don't have anything like that on it for the first year i had one of these on it excuse me first year and a half i had one of these on it and this is the one and it's died i have another one on order um, this is the only way i oxygenate the water they have no issues the water is really great fertilized water for the plants um, and I just do, um, maybe 20% water changes every couple of weeks. I just stick the hose in here. It's dechlorinated hosed and, um, stick it at the bottom of the pond. It makes everything, uh, get churned up and then it overflows over the back end here and goes off into this bed. The fish have been breeding. I have more fish than I bought originally in here. Um, I've never, and I've never seen a dead one in here either. So I'm sure that I've had dead, um, or maybe raccoons have shown up or birds have shown up and eaten some of the fish. But for the most part, I haven't had any issues that I've noticed. So I'm just catching some fish. Ooh, there's one. Here we go. That's five in my bucket. Oop, two more. Here we go. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna put the fish in here. And there we go, seven fish. So I'm just sitting here at the pond uh, in the front yard now, and um, I'm just put those uh, goldfish in here, and I'm very excited. I've wanted a pond in here for quite a while. If you've been following my page for a while, you've seen the ideas uh, develop, and it took a while. It took a long while for me to really figure out how I wanted to do it. Originally, I didn't want to do a pond liner. Um, I didn't, definitely didn't want to do a molded pond liner, even though those tend to be better about not getting ripped. What we did in this case is we dug the hole and we started it last year. We dug the hole, um, kind of let it go over winter. It filled up with snow a few times. We watched where the, where the snow runoff went, those sorts of things. And then we definitely, you know, moved things around a little bit between where we dug the hole. We made it a little bigger and we, went with an actual uh, fabric, heavy duty uh, fabric liner. I originally wanted to do like a clay liner because I really would prefer to have a natural pond, but my ground is too sandy. I can't guarantee that we're just not gonna just sink all of that water right into the ground. So we did end up going with a, a thick liner. And I need to figure out how I wanna do right here like this plastic area that's showing. I'll probably move the stones up now that I know where the edging is really gonna go since I filled it up earlier today. This, the reason I do this is for the animals and the pollinators and things like that, and for us because it helps keep it cooler. This side of my house only gets morning sun. The back side of my house gets afternoon sun. So if I want a cooler place to hang out in the afternoons when we're like in a heat dome or something, this is going to be the better place to come out and hang out. And I can stick my feet in the pond and relax. I'm thinking about getting some like hanging type things, um, like hanging hammock chairs for to hang from the tree. I think that'll be fun too. The pump should show up soon and I should be able to set up an actual little fountain here. But for now, this is completely fine the way it is. We haven't hit the point where we're getting mosquitoes popping up yet in our area. So, but adding the goldfish in here, that'll keep them from overpopulating the pond. The goldfish will eat any larva. 
that show up for the um, mosquitoes. So that's, that was my main, my main worry is mosquitoes. Beyond the little feeder goldfish that I've put in here, the um, pond pumps, once we put them in here, are gonna keep the water disturbed enough to where it should not have any issue uh, with mosquito larvae. I'm hoping we'll attract some frogs. I do hear them at night in my area, but they do seem far away. Um, so I'm hoping we'll attract some frogs over here. And of course, I'm really hoping to eventually get some dragonflies. That's really what I want. So here it is. It is set up and I'm really excited with the way it's looking. It's about 12 feet long, estimation. So we're planning on putting a fountain over here and I do want to get some one of those solar water discs for aerating the water over there. But that's pretty much the only thing I'm going to do on this. I don't want to do a huge filtered setup and all of that. I plan to do a bucket dump system where I just come out here with a bucket, pull out a couple of bucketfuls of water, water the plants around, and then top it off. You know, every couple of weeks, maybe every week, I'll do that. But I'm really liking the way this is already turning out. I'm sure I will be having to fill it up occasionally just because of evaporation. But having that extra moisture in the air over here, it's definitely needed. So let's go take a look at it from a different angle. I think I want some more stones over here. This is all I have up here. And then I definitely want a stone to cross over here. I, ne I need to figure out how I wanna do these areas, if I just want to pull the rocks up further so it's covering up that plastic. But that's definitely something to work on. I would love some feedback and some ideas. If you guys could put them in the comments, that would be great. Um, I'm going to want another stone over here. Where I step off right there. And I've put this stick here to make kind of a natural fence so people don't just walk through and then walk directly up to the pond from this angle. I want it to be a path thing where people have to follow the path. Makes it much safer as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you stick around. Please hit like and subscribe. If you want to see how this pond turns out, I will definitely be doing updates once I get the fountains going and all of that. Thanks for watching. I'll yak at you later. Bye.